those nuggets. Huh? Капетан седи от туме радно място, нагледа и види долу сва авионе. Sedište za pilote s kojim su se mogli izbaciti van u slučaju nezgode, vidiš.
one in Georgia. Ajde da vidimo ovo zvonu šta je ovdje, vidiš ima veliko zvon onako. Vuci vrata, jasno. Vuci sebi, je tako bro. Smo naš malo jače. as 
York City. Growler was a key part of the United States nuclear deterrence strategy. The United States believed that the threat of nuclear weapons lurking offshore would deter the Soviet Union from launching a strike against the United States. To accomplish this mission, Crowley patrolled off the Soviet Union's Pacific coastline, staying hidden below the surface as much as possible. The crew stood ready for an order to fire the submarine's nuclear weapons at targets in the Soviet Union. To launch the missiles, Crowley needed to be on the surface like it is right now. The missiles had to be unloaded and launched one by one. Growler's crew practiced launching the Regulus many times. Thankfully, they never received an order to launch an attack. Many crew members believed that if they launched a missile, they would be quickly discovered and destroyed by the enemy. They lived with this risk every day while on patrol. Growler's longest time on patrol was 72 months. Two months at sea may not sound so difficult, but on a submarine, it's a different story. Growler's crew numbered from 90 to 100 men. They worked, slept, ate, and relaxed inside these close quarters. While on patrol, Growler stayed below the surface. The crew could not leave the submarine. They had no sunshine, no starlight, and very little fresh air. As you move through the submarine, imagine what life was like for these men, and keep in mind that every single one of them served on Growler voluntarily. As technology improved, newer, larger submarines with more sophisticated missiles made Growler obsolete. It was decommissioned in 1964 after six years of service. The Navy planned to use Growler as target practice for another submarine until it was rescued by the Intrepid Sea, Air, and Space Museum. In 1988, Congress turned control of Growler over to the museum and it opened to the public a year later. Growler is now the only U.S. Navy missile submarine open to the public. It is remarkably intact from its Navy service and retains most of its original features. We ask for your help in preserving this historic vessel. Please do not touch anything inside the submarine and do not bring in food or drinks. You'll be entering momentarily. Staff inside the submarine will be happy to answer any questions you have. Feel free to take photos, but remember that there will be other groups coming in behind you. Thank you, and welcome aboard. Thank you.
stepenca da se popne još skroz gore na onaj tvorin. Vidiš ovdje mi je periskop, s ovim gledaju gore, sada se nalazi malo bradova, vidiš ovo. I'm in my mind. Sačka je tu, vidiš tu s njim torpeda. Ovamo samo da vidimo. Vidiš što njim gađe druge brodove i druge podmorice. Ha, ha, ha. 